Hey, everybody. Let's see. Coffee with Will in the afternoon. And I'm using this new streaming software. I am not sure if it's all going out, so give me a few minutes here. I'm at the piano. <clears throat> I just wanted to share with you very succinct, succinctly something that's really working for me. It's saying warning. Let's look over here and see if I can get on it. Looks like I am live. Okay. All right. So I'm here at the studio. And let me get you a better shot. Wearing my True Dark glasses, which protect me from the blue light of the computer. I highly recommend these. True Dark, check it out. Uh, what's over here? <laughs> it's dropping things left and right. Oh, uh, let me close that one. Anyway, so I wanted to share with you something that's been working for me. That um, you know, some of you may hear you hear me say this and go, "Oh, that's what I've been doing for years." So it sometimes takes me a long time to learn things, in case, in my case, decades. Uh, and people have been telling me this for probably decades. And I've, I've said things like, oh, my brain doesn't work that way. Um, I have to do it the other way, the hard way, like staying up all night or, or you know, stressing out about it until it's just the last minute and then I just get it done, whether it's a creative project or something that I really need done. So... Um, the idea that I heard this on the Minimalist podcast, they were talking about how to form new habits, how to rewire the brain. And instead of thinking of the, the project as a whole, to think of it as little teeny bits that you do um, rather than this overwhelming thing. So one of the things they said is if you're a writer is to commit to this baby step of waking up every morning and writing just one sentence. And some days you may or most days you might just write one sentence and then be done. And other days you might write that one sentence and it leads to a whole paragraph or several paragraphs or several pages. So <clears throat> um, what I think some of us are, are wired in a way <laughs> that we sit down and the, the, the amount of choices that are in front of us overwhelm us to the degree that we just shut down and we can't do anything and our, our creative centers and our brains are just shut down. So. For example, this morning I, I have this cello player coming over, Tony Rogers, today, and I need to do a string arrangement. I took out the chart for the song that I'm going to arrange, and I just, again, I was trying to think of all the different possibilities. Where could I have the strings come in, and how are the strings going to sound, and all this judgment, oh, i got to make the strings sound great, and whatnot. And I was very overwhelmed, and I thought, oh, I should just go take a walk. I'll come back and try it again. So what I did was I came back, and I just started. So the other thing is just just start. Write one measure, write two measures, and then go from there. When you're focused in on a little small detail, then you kind of get caught up in the excitement of the moment and creating something, and that leads to the next measure and the next measure, and then you're going. So that whole phrase, just do it, which Nike says, it's so true. Just write one sentence. Just write one measure. Start from there, and then you have some context, and then you can see the, the greater picture much easier. So I had this really working for me over the last two months. It's been quite amazing. I'll write one measure. I'll write one chord. Uh, the day before yesterday, I sat down at the piano, and <laughs> I was just waiting for Karen to get ready to go. And I sat down, and I was like, hey, I'm going to just play around with the melody here. So I sat down, and I went, you know, we're working on a Celtic album. I thought, why don't I, why don't I try to write a Celtic tune that we can play rather than playing a traditional tune, why don't we make something up that's ours? So I just I just played that. That's all I played. I thought, that sounds very Celtic. What can I do with that? So after Karen had finished her shower, she came out and said, I have one measure, and I believe that one measure. When you have that one measure idea, you can expand that into an entire piece. So I actually, while she was getting dressed, I finished it, and I, wor I actually came up with four different melodic ideas, which then were expanded into the whole piece, which now we've recorded, and now I'm going to be doing strings behind that piece. And it all started with one measure. So the whole point of this video is just do it, write one sentence, take one walk around the block, um, and commit to doing that every day. Commit to making a habit. And then your brain gets, starts to get excited about the creative process, and, and it creates its own momentum, its own inertia. So 
in any case, that's what I wanted to share with you. It's working for me, and I think it can work for you too. I would love to hear how many of you out there have any sort of rituals or habits like this that were formed from uh, starting a simple being distracted now by texts. Anyway, how many of you have, have deep uh, habits that were formed this way just by taking a baby step? It's really working. It's exciting. I mean, I used to sit down and I would be flooded by, okay, you've got to make something great. You've got to make something that's so new and different and far out and amazing. And I would start from that place and wouldn't have anything to say. When you have that filter of judgment and that filter of, oh, it's got to be great. Oh, it's got to be great. You know, the new approach is let's just make something that's pleasing. Let's start, let's write a melody. And and then when I'm, do, when I'm in that process, there's an extra step here. If you're a creative person. When I was writing that first measure, I decided don't just do not go into your judgmental brain. Don't even judge it. Just let's see where the melody wants to go, as if almost I were picking the melody out of the sky. Let's see where my ears want to go, and later on I can judge it and change the notes and and sculpt it. Kind of like a sculptor takes you know that raw rock and is sculpting away. So I could I can make the raw melody and come back. And I can totally scrap it and throw it away, or I could keep chipping it away and see if I can even make it better. But the idea is to get that initial inspiration of excitement that has nothing to do with judgment. It's just, let's just make a melody, right, Mom? <laughs> let's just make a melody. And if you only can come up with one measure, you'll say even just a half measure, stop there. The second your brain starts saying, oh, that's not good enough, oh, I don't really like where that goes, then stop. Stop, put it aside, write it a little bit, put it into a voice recorder, come back to it later and see if your brain can go off from there. There's a book that um, I highly recommend for this kind of thinking. It's called Effortless Mastery. And Kenny Werner talks about getting into the space with your instrument. And he has a whole process where you, you just sit at the piano. The minute you have a thought of, I want to make something or I want to do something, you take your hands off the piano because the idea is eventually you want to be watching your hands just sort of do what they do. You don't want to be making anything happen. You want to watch magic happen. I know that sounds kind of woo-woo, but in my experience, yeah, the be some of the best music is created where you kind of get out of the way of yourself. And all that training, all the practicing, there's two things. There's performing and there's practicing. Practicing, you sit down and you intentionally work on things. Then when you perform, you put aside that intentional push, that intentional, I've got to make this happen. I've got, this has got to be great. And you just let it come out of yourself. So there's my coffee with Will at 1.55 p.m. I just had to get that out. I hope you share these ideas. I hope you make a comment so that, you know, there maybe there's parts of this that uh, you have your own personal take on. I would love to hear that. And if you want to check out the album that we're working on, it's called a Sailor Returns to the Sea with Karen Mall at Will Taylor. You can go to karenandwillmusic.com, click on the Learn More link, and you'll get five days of our music, and you'll be sure to be signed up. When we release the album, you'll know about it. In the next probably four to six weeks, we'll be releasing it. Uh, Celtic music, original Celtic music with strings, guitar, upright bass, amazing heartfelt vocals from Karen Mall, and you sure want to be on the list. You should, I know you want to be on the list. You're going to do that right now, right? You're going to go to the list at karenandwillmusic.com, sign up, and you'll get five days of our music, stuff we've already recorded that I think you'll love. And by the time our new record comes out, you'll just be waiting for that music, that new music to grace your ears for the years to come. So um, that's all I'm asking. I'm not asking for any support other than just get on our email list. And if you enjoyed what you heard, share it. Share it with others, and uh, we'll see you on the other side. So thanks for watching. Now I'm going to figure out how to stop this and see if it stops. I'm still, are we still on live here? Oh, looks like somebody already shared the video. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you know, other thing is uh, this watch party thing. I haven't tried that. Has anybody done the watch party and had success with that? I'm curious. Okay, so to, re to review before I sign off, just do it. Write one sentence. Commit to a practice of five minutes of meditation in the morning. These are some of the things that I do. Commit to a practice of, of, of saying gratitudes in the morning and the evening. Just simple things. 
Those are the things you can do in our complex world. And if they take root, then you can do more in-depth, more amazing, more time-consuming things that come out of those roots, right? So just do it. You'd be amazed at what you can create for yourself, amazed at how you can help others through that as well. Talk to you later.